today's question comes from Steven and he has a really interesting question. He's asking, hi Till, what do you think of dropshipping as a business model? Is it a long-term business and will it continue to grow or will it eventually die out? Welcome to the Till Boadella Show, where I show you how to create the freedom and lifestyle you truly desire. Tune in every day and get real life strategies to grow your own business, hack your life and get more done in less time. Subscribe to the show and add Till Boadella on Snapchat. I think dropshipping won't die out because I actually checked the Google Trend results for dropshipping and ever since 2004 there's been a huge interest for dropshipping, right? So you can check Google Trend, um, you can search for dropshipping and you can find out how many people have shown interest, you know, how big of a keyword is dropshipping since 2004 and I think Google Trends uh, started in 2004 and it's been high dropshipping and it's been high for over 12 years. So in terms of interest and as a trend, I think dropshipping isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So I wouldn't be concerned about that. Now, what is happening though is payment processors and payment gateways are getting a bit more problematic when it comes to dropshipping, right? So there's only so many payment gateways that actually allow dropshipping. So dropshipping is a bit of a gray zone. You can sneak your way in to a payment gateway like Stripe and uh, use dropshipping as a business model. And you might sign up with other services like to checkout, but apparently they now need a dropshipping agreement and so forth. So I think dropshipping will continue to grow and be there, but it's gonna be harder to actually start. It's gonna be harder to get approved with a payment gateway. You might need additional agreements for those payment gateways to show that you are allowed to dropship those products and so forth. Now that shouldn't actually concern you. I believe in general payment gateways are tightening up a bit and it's getting harder to get approved simply because there's more and more people starting businesses and these payment gateways need to protect themselves to make sure that um, they maintain a good relationship with credit card processors and companies and so forth. So they are just a bit more careful in terms of who they do business with. Also, no one really knows the future of Facebook ads. Right now, Facebook ads work like crazy for dropshipping, but we don't really have control over Facebook's ad policy and so forth. So we don't know if ad costs are going to increase dramatically on Facebook in the next couple of years. We don't know if at some point Facebook will crack down on dropshippers. I don't believe that's going to happen, but you never know. So dropshipping is a great way to start a business. It's the fastest way I've ever seen people make money online, like complete beginners and making sales within 48 hours and stuff like that. I've never seen so many people make their first sale as with dropshipping, right? Other business models like creating information products or um, affiliate marketing and all of that usually takes people a lot longer to make their first sale or they never actually make their first sale. And with dropshipping, I've seen so, so many people make their first sale and make consistent sales and have an actual business in a very short time. So dropshipping is a great way to get your feet wet, to start an online business, to learn Facebook ads and to get those reference experiences and make some sales and make some money. That being said, I believe dropshipping isn't the most mature business model. I think sometime down the road, if you're dropshipping, you want to look at other business models. You want to look at something that's more stable. Maybe you want to start building your own brand. That can be a personal brand. That can be an e-commerce brand. Maybe later on down the road, once you learn how e-commerce works and how to sell online, you want to start your own products. Maybe you want to, you know, just build a different business that has more of a brand quality to it instead of just drop shipping and selling other people's products. It's going to be easier to get approved with payment gateways. It's going to be something that you're going to be proud of in the future, something that you can be proud of 
giving to your children, leaving a legacy. Things like that become more important as you get older, as you have more experience in business. So I think dropshipping is a great entry into the business world, into the online marketing world. And it is awesome. You should do it. But then later on down the road, you should also look at other business models and you should start building your own brand because it's going to be more stable, but also because you want to have a legacy, man. You want to have something you can proudly pass on to the next generations, to your children. And maybe, you know, I just believe there's more to the world than just drop shipping. There's more meaningful businesses you can start. You can solve a real problem. We need entrepreneurs in our world. And I don't want to waste this entrepreneurial talent on drop shipping stuff from China that no one really needs, right? And now I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying there's more to it. I'm just saying there's more meaningful things one can do as an entrepreneur to make a change in the world, have a positive impact and use these talents and gifts that we have as entrepreneurs to create something awesome, to create something great for the next generations. So I think as we all get older and have more experience, that becomes more important to us personally. And also financially, it's going to be more rewarding to do that. So that being said, continue drop shipping. If you haven't started yet, start drop shipping, learn the ropes, and then, you know, take it from there.